بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقٍ Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Ramadan time. <laughs> It is another day of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, I am doing as much ibadat as I can. <laughs> this rewardable month is going by so fast, subhanAllah. So try to do as much ibadat as you can. Also pay zakat and do lots and lots of duas. Try to read as much Quran as possible. And speaking of Quran... Reading one just a day is not compulsory. You can at least read one page a day and keep this in mind. Reading one letter will give you 70 rewards. Look how many blessings Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. 70. <laughs> Let's move on to the good deed of the day. The good deed of the day. Visit a sick Muslim. Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, There is no Muslim who visits a sick Muslim early in the morning, but 70,000 angels send blessing upon him until evening comes. And if he visits him in the evening, 70,000 angels send blessings upon him until morning comes, and he will have a garden in paradise. Wow, mashallah! <laughs> Aren't you surprised? Yes. <laughs> now that we've finished the good deed of the day, let's move on to the hadith. An Anasin radiallahu anhu, an in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, call, Thalathun man kunna fihi wajada bihinna halawata al imani man kana allahu wa rasuluhu ahabba ilayhi mimma siwa huma wa an yuhib al mara la yuhibbuhu illa allahi wa an yakraha an yauda fil kufri ba'da an anqadahu allahu minhu kama yakrahu it is reported on the authority of Anas radiallahu anhu from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said, There are three qualities. Whoever is characterized by them will taste the sweetness of Iman. One to whom Allah and his Messenger are dearer than all else. One who loves a man only for Allah's sake. And one who abhors returning to disbelief after Allah has rescued him from it, as he would hate being cast into hell. Let's move on to the lessons of this hadith. Number one, the characteristics of a true believer. Number two, our love of Allah and his messenger are a part of Iman. Number three, Loving one's Muslim brother only for Allah's sake is a part of Iman. And number four, hating to return to disbelief. Disbelief? I meant disbelief. Hating to return to disbelief is a part of faith. Let's move on to the discussion section. Number one. Samiha, these questions go to you. Who narrated this hadith? Um, Allah. No. Anas bin Malik. Oh. Anas bin Malik narrated this hadith. Anas. 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 Bin. Bin. Malik. Malik. Number two. Who should be dearest to us in our lives? Um, Allah. Allah and? Um. <laughs> Look in the hadith, okay? Okay. Allah and his messenger are dearer than all else. Okay? Yeah. I'd yeah. <laughs> Number three. Being kind and loving our parents, our brothers, our sisters are part of Iman. Do you think it's true or false? True. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've finished the hadith, let's move on to so learning surahs. <laughs> 
Yesterday, Samiha learned Surah Al-Falaq. Now it's time for her to learn Surah Al-Ikhlas. <laughs> now repeat after me. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yat. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. What? Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Lam? Lam. Yalid. Yalid. Walam. Walam yulad. Walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. Walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. Now repeat after me. Again. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. Walam yakullahu kufuwan ahad. Now we finish so our learning time. It's time for us to go. Before I go, I must tell you something. Samiha has learned a surah and I'm proud of her. She's learned three surahs so far. But you can teach your son, grandson, daughter, granddaughter, anybody. Even your baby sister, your baby brother. Yeah. And your big sister, your big brother. <laughs> just remember that you don't need any skill to learn the Quran. You just need intention. In the first video, I have said that these depend upon intention. If you have a good intention on saying a surah or memorizing it, then you can say it. Inshallah, you will. See you tomorrow now. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>